Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So it is finally happening, CMU's Vulkan API backend is going to be releasing this week for free for everyone in the public. In this video, I'm going to be going over all of the biggest and most important changes in this new public release and I'm also going to be looking at what kind of performance numbers you can expect to see when using this Vulkan API. To be honest, there's not a ton that has changed in 1.16.0's public release. However, what they have added is a pretty major upgrade, at least for Vulkan users. And yes, they have now added a usable and reusable shader cache, meaning that you're no longer going to have to put up with repeated stutter every time you relaunch any of your games. If the addition of usable Vulkan shader caches wasn't enough, it gets even better. These new Vulkan shader caches are also cross-compatible with the older OpenGL version and vice versa. Older shader caches you created on OpenGL are also compatible with the Vulkan API. Now there is one caveat or small to minor downside to using the older OpenGL shader caches with the new Vulkan API backend. While at least parts of the older OpenGL caches are cross compatible with Vulkan, you are still going to have to create what is known as a Vulkan pipeline cache. Effectively, this is like a different version of shader caches and if you've seen videos of mine in the past, the caching speed on Vulkan is blazing fast. It's not going to be anywhere near as slow as anything you've seen in respect to caching on the older OpenGL system. So to be honest, it's really not too much of an issue to create this new cache version. The developers of CMU have in fact recommended that users create a brand new shader cache version. This is because the new Vulkan API shader caches will also work perfectly with the older OpenGL system and because the shader cache files created by this new Vulkan system are going to be smaller, it will cause your system to use less RAM, potentially giving you a better performance in some of your games. In respect to performance, let's take a look at the kind of frame rates you can expect when using OpenGL versus using this brand new Vulkan API. Let's kick things off by taking a look at the AMD GPU user side of things. So obviously on the left we have the older OpenGL backend and on the right we have Vulkan. In this video I'm going to be going over all of the most demanding areas in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, a game which is not only the most demanding but also by far the most played game on this emulator. The system used for all of these AM tests consists of a 3700X clocked at 4.2GHz, an AMD RX 580 4GB edition and 16GB of RAM. As is very clear by the performance numbers you can see at the top of the screen, the Vulkan API is absolutely destroying OpenGL for performance in this very demanding area Hateno. This is going to be a very similar story in all of our benchmark testing areas. Right here on the Great Plateau, our performance on OpenGL is ranging somewhere between around 20 to 26 frames per second, while on Vulkan it is closer to about 35 to 45 frames per second a pretty substantial performance boost I think we can all agree. Again jumping across to some gameplay performance comparisons in Kakariko Village, our OpenGL performance is anywhere from around 18 to 23 frames per second, whereas on Vulkan we have an even bigger performance difference with our frame rate not really dropping under 39 or 40 frames per second, though in general when not recording gameplay this frame rate did not drop below 45 in this area for me. One of my favourite places to do performance testing is the Zora's Domain area. I like this place because similar to Lurlin Village, a place I also test, it is a good blend of both open world and town areas with lots of NPCs so it gives you a pretty balanced indication of what your performance levels are going to be like in both. In this area again though you can see that the Vulkan API is crushing OpenGL for performance. In all of my testing using AMD GPUs both my 4GB and 8GB 580 AMD is roughly 25 to 60% faster when using the Vulkan API versus OpenGL. Moving from AMD GPU hardware over to Nvidia, these performance numbers kind of flip upside down with OpenGL now performing better than Vulkan. 
To be honest, there are some fairly obvious reasons why this is the case, so let's just quickly go over them. The first of these reasons is the fact that Nvidia's OpenGL driver is heavily multi-threaded, allowing much better performance when using it. The second is the fact that when utilizing OpenGL and CMU emulator, users are able to activate a setting in Nvidia's driver or Nvidia control panel titled Nvidia Threaded Optimization. This threaded optimization only works with OpenGL and all CMU users with Nvidia GPUs can take advantage of it. This setting allows your CPU to allocate one extra core or thread to CMU, allowing your frame rates to be much, much higher than they would without it. The third reason why a performance can be a lot better on OpenGL is also because of a setting within CMU titled GX2 Drawdown or full sync at GX2 drawdown. When deactivated, this setting can massively boost your performance levels, especially so in Breath of the Wild, and when paired with the CPU Occlusion Query or NPC Stutterfix graphics pack, it basically makes the game play flawlessly with a few small issues like the milky water issue you may have seen in the past. Basically what all of this means is that as an out of the box experience with zero tweaking or zero settings changing, Vulkan will actually be faster for AMD and Nvidia users, but if you're willing to put a few minutes into changing some settings and making some tweaks on Nvidia, you can get dramatically better performance when using OpenGL. Now in this video I didn't cover Intel iGPUs, this is for two main reasons. One, because we're waiting for a new driver that's going to give us a feature and function titled Transform Feedbacks that should dramatically help how games are rendered and perform. And secondly, because when I did test Intel on this public release 1.16.0 version, there was absolutely no difference between now and when I previously tested it about a month ago. So if you want to check out my iGPU video on CMU Vulkan vs OpenGL, you'll find that video down below. In respect to game compatibility, performance and general stability, there have been a lot of changes in this 1.16.0 version, so to be honest it's going to take a lot of time to do proper stability and performance testing in all of the titles I currently own, and as always if there are any games you would like to see me test out, please do let me know down below this video in a comment, and if I have that game or if I can buy it for cheap I will test it out for you no problem at all. Once again, I want to give a massive thank you to all of my Patreon supporters over on Patreon.com. You guys have helped massively with the purchasing of these kind of games and consoles that I require for making videos just like this and my future compatibility one for 1.16.0. While I usually have a scroll going across the bottom of the screen now with all of your names on it, unfortunately while making this video all of my files for those scrolls got corrupted so I'm gonna have to remake them. You guys all know who you are, you're awesome and thank you guys very very much for the continued support of my channel. If anyone out there wants to help with the day-to-day -day running of BSOD Gaming helping to pay for, as I said, the games I need for these kind of tests, please consider heading to patreon.com and supporting me over there. While these pledges or donations are not required to get help from me here on YouTube or over on my Discord server, they do massively help me, so to anybody who does pledge or donate, thank you guys very, very much. That's going to be it for this video on CMU 1.16.0. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like down below. If you enjoy these types of videos, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, please hit the bell icon so that you get notified as soon as I make a new upload. Once again, thank you all very much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.